The meeting of the Revere Zoning Board of Appeals will now come to order. Roll call. Mr. Pacilli? Mr. D'Angelo? Mr. Lopes? Mr. Pelton? Present. Mr. Tucker? Present. Four if we present. could please rise and salute the flag. First application before the board is application A1925. This is the application of Abdul Jal Tilihad and Fatha Noami, 84 Jones Road, Revere, requesting re rear and side yard variances to enable the appellant to construct a detached accessory structure shed in the rear and side yard on lots 21 at 84 Jones Road. Is the applicant present? Please step up to the microphone, press the button, and state your name and address for the record. Good afternoon. My name is Abdul Jalil Aytil Hajj. I'm here to apply for a virus for a siding. Okay. Do you have anything to present to us? Seeing that this is a public hearing, I will ask are there any proponents, anyone in favor? My name is Darlene Jones. I live at 80 Jones Road. I'm an abutter to the gentleman who's requesting the the change in ordinance. And he's been a great neighbor, and I don't see why there should be any problem with this. As an abutter, what side to the left or right facing the house? Um, if I'm facing the house, I'm on the left side. Thank you. you Is there any other proponents? Good afternoon, my name is Hassan Shitwani. I am the neighbor of uh, Abdul Jalil. My house is 86 Jones Road. He's next door to, to him. And um, he built the shed and I don't have any problem with it. Okay, thank you. Are there any other proponents? Seeing in here, none opposed that side of the hearing. Are there any opponents? Anyone opposed? Michael Trapula, 87 Jones Road. I live directly across from his driveway, meaning if he were to pull out straight, he would pull right down my driveway. I oppose this matter and that structure that he's placed. I have helped that neighbor multiple times move from business to business as a mechanic. When he built that monstrosity in his backyard, my fear was that he was going to operate a garage for repairing vehicles in a residential neighborhood. Just a week or so ago, he moved his toolbox, which is the size of a small pickup truck, into the garage that he built. So I am opposing this because in the future, uh, I am afraid that he is going to run a business out of the backyard of a residential house across the street from my home. 
and I don't find that to be the correct way to do any business. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other opponents? Hearing all, I'll close that side of the hearing. Are there any members wish to speak? I do have some questions, but I'll allow the members first. Can someone tell me what the size of that shed? The current shed, or the shed that was removed? Oh, you mean the garage? The size of the shed it was the old one. It was eight by eight. That one I have is ten by ten. Am I correct when I look at this picture that there's a garage door for a vehicle can enter that shed? Is it a garage door? Yeah. It's a garage door. Okay, that answers the question. Um, is there a, a driveway permit cut for cutting the, the sidewalk for a driveway? Has that been applied for? Is it for the entrance of my house? For okay. I found this on the in order to get to this shed or garage, do you have a driveway that goes to that? It looks like you're putting down pavers to put a driveway there. Yeah, it's a, it was a pavers, and they took it and they put the pavers there. Just they changed the pavers. So you're extending the pavers from your driveway to this to the shed. so-called shed. Yes. Why would you be extending the full width of the this, this structure to, rather than just put a walkway to go to a shed? Where you're making it a driveway going to this garage. This is a shed. Okay, the shed is in the, in the, in the back. That, that space it was like empty. It was just, just the grass. And always I have a problem with the rat and stuff coming. If you see those pictures, in, uh, I have uh, some pictures here. It was a uh, dirt and stuff, the rat coming under that old shed. I take that one out and they put the, I put the pavement. Did you get a cease and desist order from the city to stop you from building this? Was the city involved in stopping you from building this shed? That's why you're here in front of us? Yes. Okay. And did you pour a foundation for this shed? The city come in, they see the foundation for the set, they take it out to see the foundation, and it was in the process. I was in the first virus, and now I am coming to the second one. So you continue to build even after the city told you to stop? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else have questions? Yeah, I got a question, Michael. I drove, I went by this property, and where you see if it's paved, he has a driveway that's fenced before you get to here, before you get to the pavement, which is not shown in the picture. And prior, speaking to Mr. Abdel, prior to this, he did have the building inspector show up, and all they wanted to see was the foundation, that it went down three feet below the frost level. So he's gone through the building inspector and so forth. But then, but then the building inspector seen a garage door being put on and put a cease and desist order, I believe. Uh, not that I know of. It would the applicant please step up to the microphone. My question is, has the building department give you a cease and desist notice to stop doing anything to that property as we speak? Yeah, when I'm, when I'm done everything, I stop everything. I, I, I never did, because I already built it, and do you notice it under the, when I'm finished. So currently you have a notice that says you cannot use it, it's a cease and desist notice from the city? No. No. Okay. Can I ask you something? What are you using the shed for? That's, that's, that's what are you using it for? Just say I have, I have my, I close my business. I have a, a toolbox and they have a pressure washer. I have so many stuff for the, to, put, to cut the grass and stuff and they put my stuff there. 
That's what happened. And that's what you had in there before, am I correct? Yeah. Is that what you had in there before? Whatever you had, the pressure washer, the two box, and? Yeah. That's what I had before. Yeah, and I, and I don't, what it, I don't, it don't show a fence, so it, you can't drive on this driveway and go directly in there if you wanted to. Am I, am I correct? Okay, so in other words, anything that's in the backyard, you can put through there. Yeah. Okay. Would you be willing to take an out the garage door and making it a shed, removing the garage door and just having a passage door? Yes, if you want, I would do it. So then it would be a 10 by 10 shed rather than having a garage door. Okay, I will do it. I will take the, the doors and they will put the doors, like sliding door, like this side, open doors. I am asking if you would be willing to close that in and just have one passage door, a passage door which you already have to the right on the picture, closing off the garage door totally by putting up a wall just like you'd have at a shed. Okay, I will do it. Can we put a restriction on this uh, as, say, not being able to do business there? We could put a restriction that there be no vehicle. We could restrict it. We could restrict it. If you wish to do that, make a motion to restrict it for just storage, no vehicles. Motion to restrict it from doing any business there or, or repairs. There's a motion on the floor to have this restricted for no vehicles, no repairs, just for storage. Is there a second it? Yeah, I'll second that. I think it's uh, less costly than replacing the door. So do you understand that though? Did you go over and address it right away? Or did you wait or did you wait till it was built? Oh, no. I, I contacted the city before that thing even went up. And I said, look, this, I helped him move from garage to garage. I was someone who he could
So a motion on the floor is to remove the garage door and have one passage door that's pre-existing in the picture and that we make a restriction that there's no automotive repairs or any other repairs being done from that shed and it's simply for storage. Is there a second? No, they, I added that the garage door be removed as part of the motion. Is there a second? Seconded. Roll call. The question now comes on granting the relief requested subject to the restrictions. Mr. Bacilli? Yes. Mr. D'Angelo? Yes. Yes. Mr. Lopes? Yes. Yes. Mr. Pelton? Yes. Yes. Mr. Tucker? Yes, this is granted, subject to the conditions. The Thank you so much. The next application before the board is application A1926, the application of Stephanie Vassello, 14 Crest Way Road, Boston, requesting maximum principal building coverage exceeding the number of stories to enable the appellant to construct a three and one half story two family dwelling on lots 21 and 22 adjacent to 62 Patriot Parkway Revere. Good afternoon board members. Uh, my name is Carrie Ann Green. Uh, I'm here today with Corey Rhodes. Uh, we're attorneys with D'Ambrosio Brown uh, with an office at 14 Proctor Avenue, Revere. Uh, we represent Stephanie Vassallo, um, the applicant who is seeking to construct a two-family dwelling on a parcel she owns on Patriot Parkway. Um, the parcel is located in the LD Overlay District. Uh, the proposed two-family dwelling meets almost all dimensional requirements and provides all required parking spaces. Um, there will be four parking spaces on the property. We are not expecting anyone to be parking on the street. Um, the relief requested is minimal. Uh, the proposed dwelling will be three and a half stories tall. The zoning district allows two and a half stories. Um, the dwelling will not be higher than 30 feet tall, which is allowed in the district. Uh, the other relief we are requesting is regarding the maximum principal building coverage. We are proposing 34% building coverage where the district allows 30%. Uh, we've spoken with the ward counselor and he has no problem with the project. Moreover, more than 20 neighbors have signed letters of support for the project, which we have filed with the board. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have and I'm looking for your approval. Thank you. Okay, seeing that it's a public hearing, are there any proponents in favor? Good evening, my name is Richard Ireton. I live at 115 Davis Street, the corner of Davis Street and Patriots Parkway, approximately 100 feet from the site uh, of the proposed uh, home. I'm not here to speak on the issues of what the zoning is. I don't know them. I'm not familiar with them. I'm here to speak on the issue of the family. Uh, Mr. Fasalo's family, my family, have been in this neighborhood pretty close to 100 years, um, dating back to about 1920, 1930. They've been outstanding neighbors uh, all of my life. I know the daughter very well. I was there at birth when she was born. I've watched her raise. She wants to move back home from our position. I'll speak solely for myself, but my family's here as well. We're delighted to see people coming back to the neighborhood that had originally left. Um, we're in support of this project. I can tell you that I've had a conversation with Mr. Fasalo, Frankie, the father. Um, I'm confident that the plan that's on the table right now is specifically for his daughter to move back home so he can be close to his family again. The grandkids can come back. So from my position, which is approximately 100 feet away, um, I support this project and I would ask the board to do the same. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other, if you're from the same address, just to, okay, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. 
Teresa Ireton, 113 Davis Street. And again, I'm not going to address any zoning issues. I'm going to address the fact that um, the Vasalos have been uh, in the neighborhood for God knows how many years. And in fact, I came before the zoning board 34 years ago with a similar request. My parents, I wanted to move back to the area, and my parents were kind enough to um, offer their land for me to build, and I came before the zoning, and everyone was very supportive of it. That neighborhood is, I think, becoming kind of unique because we have the Bianchis that have lived there forever, the Vasalos who have lived there forever, the Iritans who have lived there forever, Mark Antonio's. Okay, not to cut you short, you're not opposed to this I'm not opposed. The city I would council, love so. to see her do it. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone? You are with the same, the Ireton? Okay, if there's anyone else, please step up to the microphone. Henry 2459 Larkin Street. Uh, we're backyard neighbors, practically. And uh, my father bought the property on Larkin Street in 1926. We've been neighbors ever since. I can't think of a finer family to have for a neighbor. And as far as the project that they want to build there, I can't see anything wrong with it. It's not going to affect me in any way. I have a little garden back there, and I don't think it's going to cast any shade or anything like that on my garden. So I'm okay with it. I accept the property that they want to build. I think it'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Are there any opponents? Anyone opposed? Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Any members wish to speak? <coughs> then we ask for a roll call. Question now comes on granting the relief requested. Mr. Bacilli? Yes. Yes, Mr. D'Angelo? Yes. Yes, Mr. Lopes? Yes, Mr. Pelton? Yes. Yes, Mr. Tucker? Yes. Yes, this is granted. No further business? No further business. Our next meeting will be September 25th, the last Wednesday of the month.